Hello everyone, my name's Nathan Huxtable and I normally work with you at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. Today I'm very happy to welcome you back into my art studio shed where we're going to do a painting activity inspired by the fantastic talk we've had from the Whipple Museum. I'm going to show you six different painting techniques that will hopefully inspire you and help you create some interesting maps of the planets and any other kind of mapping and painting moving forward. We're going to need watercolor paper, gouache or watercolor paints, brushes, pencil, a palette, water pot, something to draw around so that's circular, a scraper made with old card or a scraper if you have one, an old sponge, and an oil or wax crayon. First, draw around your cup or round object until you have six circles on your watercolour paper. The first painting technique uses a scraper. Put some daubs of paint on the left-hand side of your circle, first circle and then scrape across until you like what you see. It has a kind of celestial feel. I've used blue and white and um, you could use any colours, but contrasting ones will work well. Scrape it until you like how it looks and then leave it to dry. The second technique uses watered down paint um, and then you can drip it onto the watercolor paper and repeat when it's dry with a lighter or a darker color and you can build up the surface that way. When the paint dries, you can see that um, depending on how dense the, the paint is, that there are lighter and darker areas with a dark rim around the edge where you've just let it dry naturally. You can use this technique uh, on many different um, subjects. To brighten it up um, and finish it off, I've just gone over the top with some nice bright yellow and it uh, sort of mimics the sun or, or some hot planet. The third technique is known as wet on wet. So you get your uh, water pot and your brush and you wet the, the circle and then you paint into it with some paint and you can see that it bleeds in a really pleasing manner and you can work on that until you're happy with it. Sometimes just one or two brush strokes will work. Other times you may want to work on it a little bit longer. The fourth technique is known as wax resist and you can either use an oil pastel or a wax crayon depending on what you've been sent, both will work. Work into the circle um, quite firmly and get as much of the pigment off onto the circle and then get a light watered down colour, I've used red, and just very gently go over the top and the paint only, only adheres where there is no wax. Now on to technique number five. This is a very basic watercolor technique. It's not the same as the wet on wet one because we're not wetting the, the paper first, but we are mixing a lightish color. I'm thinking of the moon when I'm making this and we just um, fill in the, the area, but we can add darker colors or different colors while it's still wet to kind of uh, mimic the face of the moon. On to the sixth and final technique. This is uh, using a sponge. Get some paint on your sponge and just press it onto, dab it onto the circle. Don't worry about going over the edge because as you can see, as we've been going along, we're gonna paint round to neaten up our circles at the end. Uh, I've done it in blue and then added white over the top again to lift it as it were, make the image a little bit more 3D. Uh, it's a bit more pleasing once it's dry. The final thing to do is to paint round your circles to neaten them up. I've used a, a light color because I think that shows them off well, but you could just as easily use a really dark color that might work and just sort of paint round as neatly as you can so that you have a nice clean image at the end. So there you have it, six different painting techniques inspired by the Whipple Museum. 
that can help you create interesting uh, images of planets and maps, but hopefully you can use these moving forward in your own painting. Enjoy!